friends, today I'm going to be showing you all my progress on my Pandos palette, which I have right here in front of me. Let's just say a little spoiler. There was quite a bit of progress on this palette, which I will show you all towards the end. But first, I'm going to start off with my Anastasia Beverly Hills pans. I'm going to start off with the bronzers. The pans have been growing on these. I don't know. It's kind of crazy that as soon as like you hit pan, like you notice more progress on them. But yes, they look like this. There's like this. Like last month, there was barely like a little boop in the pan. And now it's already like at the second ring, as well as this one. And I wear these all the, every time I put on makeup, whether it's filming or TikToks or just creating looks on my Instagram. So yes, there's the progress on that. Next, I have are the highlighters for these. This one seems like it has the most progress. This is Moonstone. And here I have Summer. I don't know, I feel like parts of this have been breaking off but once again I wear these like every single day and I I feel like these have had a pan in them for like the longest time so um, yeah it's great to see that the pan is growing on these but that's that for that um once again I really haven't touched my elf putty blushes um I am hoping to start using these once I have finished my bronzers from my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit and as well as my CoverGirl Cheekers blush. Um, as soon as I finish the other blush I'm using for my project pan, um, I'll be implementing this. Yep, I'll be switching them. But anywho, it's time for the big boy. So yes, there has I have done quite a bit of damage in this. On this palette and you'll see why because I depotted like one two three four five I've depotted five eyeshadows and I would have filmed the whole like depotting thing because I basically like broke this whole palette apart yep like I broke it and then I got a lighter and I melted the backs of it but like I said I was going to film like me doing it but I feel like lots of children or kids watch like depotting videos so I don't really want to like encourage you getting a lighter and melting plastic which can be quite dangerous anywho um yes I've depotted a few of them um these two were not or these two are not in their right these two are not in the right place. I just placed them wherever. I think these three, actually. Um, yep, I've depotted the reds and the oranges because I don't have any oranges or reds in my collection. I have a shadow quite similar to this one from ColourPop as well as this one. So, yep. I've left those there. And hopefully I'll be using these five as blush. But, um, yeah, other than that, there's really hasn't been much progress. Um, I have been debating whether or not to depot this black eyeshadow because I use it as a liner. Like, it's already completely ruined. I only use this shadow specifically for, like, a liner. I put water in there or any sort of setting spray and I use a small, tiny little liner brush. That was actually pretty long. But, yeah, I use any liner brush and I just roll my brush in there and I use it as eyeliner um yep I really don't like this palette <laughs> um as you can see just by getting rid of all of those oranges this is basically just a neutral palette and what gets me really annoyed of Morphe other than they support lots of controversial controversial they support many not not the greatest beauty influencers so um other than that they use a lot of repetitive shades and I understand that they use similar shades in different textures but some of these are literally the same even in the same texture like some of these mattes when I swatch them they look exactly the same 
the shimmers look exactly the same um hopefully um i am literally just going to keep these this palette until i depop these um i have been making my own my own eyebrow gel with um the got to be hair gel just so i could use that up even though i have other gels um other eyebrow products um but yeah i've been using i've been doing that lately i'm literally only going to keep this palette until i depot or i pan some of these browns that are here which are just like five like this one this one this one this one and this one um and probably these on top i use them as contour but i'm only going to keep this palette until then because most of these burgundy reds are literally the exact same like there's i don't need six different versions of the same color like i don't so yeah i'm going to keep this until i finish those browns up and the browns i feel like i'm going to finish them up pretty quickly because i have been making my own diy um eyebrow gel although i do have other eyebrow products um and that's because i have this big tube of the got to be spiked gel which i use for like glitters and stuff like that but i really just want to finish that up because it's really it's not cruelty free anywho i have been making my own eyebrow gel using these brown shadows which is why i've used this one up but yeah other than that this palette is pretty boring and as you can see i've been playing around with more colors like this so um yep this palette is quite boring and honestly i was going to sell it and it didn't sell but yeah that's that for that palette yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please give this video a big thumbs up and share and if you guys like to see more of my face please do subscribe to my channel make new videos each week and if you guys like to follow me on any social media page that i may have the link down below i now have a tiktok and a makeup instagram which i upload quite frequently on there so if you guys want to check that out it will be down below and yeah i'll see you guys next time bye